Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio. I believe we are on Ty's Path. Yep, that's right. We're jumping right back into Ty's Path, y'all. Before I jump into it, y'all, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up. We've got bronze tier for five dollars, silver tier for ten dollars, and gold tier for fifteen dollars. Each of them gets y'all exclude. Each of them will get y'all some exclusive rewards for each tier, including permanent access to our community Discord server. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up. Let's go. Alright. Did you get roped into helping out today? I did. Was someone sick or something? A sudden bereavement leave. Terrible tragedy. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, hey, wasn't there supposed to be somebody else out here? That would be Eric. He's running late. Sounds like someone I know. Doesn't it just? Still, this is as good a time to warn you as any. Eric is, well, he's an interesting sort. Really? Really. Just ignore his crap because, well, believe me, there'll be crap. Well, what kind of crap? All of a sudden, the door in the entrance blew open and a swagger... And, a, and in swaggered a rat who couldn't have been much taller than Axel. At first, his expression was a bemused one. That was until he spotted me and it changed into something between excitement and curiosity. Well, well, look what the fox dragged in, eh? How's it going, handsome? The name's Eric. Uh, hey, I'm Hunter. I'm new here. Today's my first day. Obviously, I never get forget a face like yours. A face like- wh What's wrong with my face? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> okay. I gotta check in with Lucas. I'll be seeing you both real soon. And with that, he wandered off, disappearing into Lucas's office. What just happened? Dom sighed and shook his head. That bone-headed specimen was Eric. So I figured, but like, is he like that with everybody? Pretty much. Even Lucas? Especially Lucas. In fact, I... Before Dom could finish his sentence, we were interrupted by the sound of Lucas yelling before the office door flew open and Eric briskly exited, closing it behind him with a cheeky smile. Ho! Oh, better watch it, boys! He's in a bad mood today! And whose fault is that? You two! We're leaving. Now. Roger that! Today we're building a stage for a music event taking place tonight. Dom, you're setting up the bar on the corner over there. Schematics are the clipboard on top of those boxes. Gotcha. I'll make a start. Eric, you're... Can I do signage? You'll be building the stage. Take Hunter here with you. Show him how it's done. Eh, fine. What was that? Nothing at all, sweet cheeks. Consider that stage built. Psst. Hunter, let's get moving before he throws me through another door. Ever built a stage before? Can't say I have. Watch and learn, then. Bear witness to a master at work. Eric began by lifting a large metal rail and snapping it into place a little above his head. Despite its size, he lifted it surprisingly easily and with little strain. Regardless, I thought to offer my assistance as to not be rude. You need me to help with any of the f any of the lifting? Me? Need help? In your dreams. I'll have this bad boy ready in five minutes flat. You'll see. You say so. Eric then lifted several more rails into place and began locking them in position with some bolts. He then grabbed some cables from a box and ran them along the bottom of the rails, through, cli through clips designed to hold the cables in place. I couldn't help but notice Eric's tail swishing from side to side as he worked. It struck me as quite uncharacteristic for a rat, but he was nevertheless an amusing sight. He also had a rather firm ass. Trust me to notice that. Next up, he grabbed a couple of large stage lights out of a box and began fastening them to the rail. Looking closely, I noticed that one of the mounting points was slightly bent and Eric was having trouble getting the light in place. Are you sure you don't need help? I told you, I've got- He was interrupted by the light coming loose and falling dramatically onto his foot. Ah, fuck you piece of shit! He gave the light a solid kick with the same foot, which only seemed to cause him more pain. I got up and rushed over to him to make sure he was okay. Are you okay? Does your foot hurt? Oh shit, my foot hurts, but I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. Do you mind if I take a look to make sure you aren't injured? I said I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Sit down for a bit. Take it easy. I think I can figure out how to get this light in place. Get it through your thick skull. I'm fine. What's all the commotion? Eric Eric dropped a lot. Nothing, boss. Nothing at all. No problem. Lucas's eyes shifted the stage light on the ground to Eric's gingerly raised foot. He'd seen all he needed to see. Eric, you jackass. I should have known you'd be showing off again. Those lights are expensive. Sorry, boss. Sorry, Lucas. I offered to help, but... Yes, I know. Eric, let the newbie help you, and maybe you'll avoid incidents like this. Lucas took his leave and went back to doing what he was doing. Eric hobbled over to the side of the stage and eased himself into a sitting position. Second, y'all. Water time. Hmm. 
Are you sure you're okay? You don't look okay. Just a little sore. Give me five minutes. I turned around and grabbed a pair of pliers, using them to bend the mount back into shape. I then lifted the light into place. It was much heavier than I was expecting. I faced Eric once more to see he'd taken his shoe off. His foot was bleeding slightly and looked rather swollen. He wouldn't be walking on that properly for at least a few days. I knew Lucas would want the stage finished, but Eric was in need of some first aid, regardless of whether he'd admitted or accepted. What should I do? Finish the stage or help Eric? Uh, Eric will be fine. Yeah, fuck you, Eric. <laughs> I decided to finish assembling the stage. After all, I was here to do a job and being my first day, seeing that job through should be my priority. There's a clipboard with stage schematics on it nearby. I checked them against what we had done and found everything to be correct so far. I mounted a few more lights, ran a few more cables, then, then gathered up and attached them to some kind of control system on the side of the stage. Next on the agenda were several large amplifiers that needed to be placed at the front of the stage. Thankfully, there was a handcart nearby. There's no way I could have lifted them alone. I rolled the amps onto the stage and connected them up to the same control panel. The final stage was to set up the cabling for the band's instruments. I ran some more cables from the amps to the middle of the stage, covering them with tape as I went, so they wouldn't be tripped over. I then checked the schematics once more. It as though everything was in place. Fine work, me! I made my way back to the front of the stage where Lucas was standing over Eric with a grumpy expression on his face. You will you always have to show off. I should have known better than to trust you with a, with a newbie. I wasn't. I was trying to teach him. Oh, really? Looks like he got on fine without your demonstration. Hunter, how'd it go? I think it's all correct, I, I hope. That's fine. I'll check it over myself shortly. We're just about done here anyway. I think you should take a couple days to nurse that foot. I'll be okay, it's just... Eric, listen. Take a few days. Got it? Got it. Eric got up and hobbled out of the room. Lucas just gave a big sigh. I'm sorry about him. He's a pain in the ass at times. Thanks for picking up his slack. Don't mention it. How's his foot? Not broken, thank goodness. It'll be a few days before he's walking right, though. At least he'll be okay. Dom. Yes, boss. Here. Lucas passed the keys for the venue to Dom. Mind finishing up? I'm gonna drop Eric home. Sure thing. Hunter, do you want to ride with me? Shouldn't I stay back and help Dom? Believe me, he's more than capable of building a stage on his own. Should have, should have just had him do it in the first place. Come, let's head to the car. Lucas had helped Eric back. Help, blah. Lucas had helped Eric back. Lucas had helped Eric into the back seat of his car while I rode shotgun. We drove for about five minutes in awkward silence with the occasional pain noise from the back seat. Eventually, we arrived at Eric's house, which was interestingly only a short walk from Diego's, right on the edge of the woods. Lucas had then suggested dropping into Ty's for a quick drink. Considering how little time I'd had to go along with Lucas so far, I thought to tag along. Besides, I'd never pass up an opportunity for another of Ty's delicious pina coladas. Afternoon. Lucas, my friend, good to see you as always. And I see you have brought familiar company. Hunter was helping with the stage build today. Eric injured his foot, and Hunter finished the build all on his own. Damn good for his first time, I'd say. Well, Hunter, as ever, my faith in you was not misplaced. It would seem Lucas is impressed. I don't know about impressed, but he's certainly competent. I suppose you're as good a judge of character as always, Ty. Something I pride myself in, of course. First drink is on the house, boys. If you keep giving away free drinks, it's gonna hurt your bottom line. Oh, hush, indulge my generosity. One second, y'all. It is water time. Alrighty. If it isn't Hunter with Lucas, Diego. Hey, Diego. How's work? Same as usual. I was wondering, did you want to watch a movie or something tonight? I don't know, Diego. We'll see what time I get. We'll see what uh, we'll see what time it is when I get home. All right. No rush. If not tonight, there's always another night. Right, the two of you are living together, aren't you? That's right. Don't be a bad influence on this boy, got it? Oh, um, please, me? Bad influence? Psh, <laughs> I needn't remind you of... Nope, you really needn't. Perhaps Hunter will be a positive influence on Diego instead. We can only hope. Hey, what's wrong with me how I am? Ty chuckled while Lucas remained as stone-faced as ever. During this exchange, a customer had approached the counter. Well, duty calls. I'll catch you later, Hunter. See you tonight. Please excuse me while I prepare your drinks. I've been meaning to say, thank you for today. You did good. No problem. Do you think Dom has everything in hand? Like I said, nobody I trust more. In the short time I've known him, he's particularly responsible. Anyway, I've been meaning to ask, how'd you get into the business? 
Well, I used to play in a band, but there wasn't there weren't many venues to play in back in those days. Our promo our promoters just set them up. So I got into the latter. Ty here got into the former. Wait, Ty? Was he in the band? Yep. We've known each other since we were kids. It only made us only made sense to us both, both being musically inclined and all. Now I'm curious, who did what? I played drums, a little cliche I know, but what can you do? Ty sang and played guitar. Ty? Singing? I'd never have guessed. I really hope I got to, I get to hear it one day. It's been a while for him, but I bet he's still got it. I would like to think that I do. Your drinks, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks. You are most welcome. I apologize for not being able to join you, but I am needed in the kitchen. No problem. Catch you around. I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon, Ty. I am sure you will. So, about Eric. What about Eric? What's his deal? What isn't his deal? I mean, sure, but that doesn't really answer my question. Well, this isn't a character study, but right. But right now, I guess that his pride will be hurt for a bit. He'll probably be an ass for a few days. Honestly, it's part of the reason I wanted him to take some time off. Hopefully it'll blow over by then. In general, he acts like a big man, but he's not. He's also a notorious hornball, so watch out for that. Kinda got a taste of that earlier. Still, one difficult employee is better than two. Should have seen that guy I fired. What a nightmare. Those two, on the same shift, totally out of control. Anyway, unless you feel like playing psychi psychiatrist, I'd give Eric a wide berth for a while. And what if I do? I could take the bull by the horn, so to speak. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Never heard that before in my life. Sorry, I had to. Lucas finished his drink and pat me on the shoulder. Well, I'm gonna head out. Need to ride anywhere? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I won't hold you up. Thank you for the offer, though. Anytime. I'll give you a call when I next need you. Oh, and here. Lucas reached into his pocket and pulled out a wad of 20s. For today. Oh, this is a lot. Are you sure? Dead sure. Shut up and take it. Gotcha. Lucas gave me another gentle slap on the shoulder before taking his leave. I took my last sip of pina colada before following, following suit shortly after. I had a few hours to myself. The only question is, how should I spend that time? Uh, oh. Oh, is this the thing for the gym? Oh, no. Uh. I'd made my way to the gym once again, knowing full well I'd likely encounter Kyrex again. Considering my attempts to keep him at a distance, perhaps this wasn't such a good idea. Should I work out regardless, or steer clear to avoid another comfortable encounter with Kyrex? Stay and work out. Yeah. It's like, no, it is water time. I figured what was the worst that could happen. I decided to work out. Pervy lizard be damned. I made my way inside and looked around. No sign of him as he yet. Off to a good start. Noticing a tiny bit of excess pudge on my stomach, I made my first stop to the treadmill. Sure enough, I'd only been running for about five minutes before I saw Kyrex wandering out of the bathrooms. He spotted me and made a beeline towards me. If it ain't my favorite new member, how you doing? I'm fine, just, you know, running. Hmm, wouldn't mind a bit of cardio myself. Kyrex hopped on the treadmill immediately to my right and began running, too. Workout going good? Keeping your motivation up? I'd say so. That's good. The joys of staying sexy, eh? Uh, sure. And that makes me feel better than being mired. Makes all that hard work worth it. That's one reason to work out, I suppose. It's kind of like, I don't like relationships, you know. I've got so many options, it's stupid restricting myself to just one. Keeping it more casual is the way. They get all complicated when you do. Well, usually. Just don't stick your dick in crazy and you'll be right. I guess I just ain't ready to settle down yet, you know. Never have been. It just ain't my style. What about you? I mean, for the right person, I would. I'm not rushing anything, though. What happens, happens, I guess. I feel ya. I guess I'm just... I guess it's just, I'm young. I might as well live while looks are on my side. You could do the same if you wanted to. You're a good-looking guy. I bet you could have anyone you wanted. Well, I don't know about that. Hey, hey, serious? Handsome mug like that? I, I mean, thanks, I guess? Don't mention it. Heck, just running next to you is making me hot and bothered. Are you sure that's not just the side effects of cardio? Ah, oh, please, I know the difference. I'll take your word for it. There's no mistake that Kyrex was buttering me up. I had a fairly good idea of what he had in mind, too. Just to put his penis in you. <laughs> Following my run, I'd moved to an exercise bike, followed by a cross trainer. Kyrex, without fail, wound up on the machine next to me, chatting to me all the while. The conversation definitely made the workout that much harder. You know, they hold a competition every year. Next one is coming up real soon. You should sign up. Me? Oh, I can't fight to save my life. What good would I be? Never know until you try. There's prize money involved, too, and the admiration of the adoring crowd. I don't know. I'll keep it in mind, but no promises, okay? When did you say it started again? 
It's a couple weeks out, I think. Yeah, there's no way I'd be f I'd be fighting fit in that time. You sure you don't want to join just for fun? My idea of fun doesn't involve being beaten up. It ain't the point. It's to challenge yourself, to push your limits, and get beaten up all the while. You're such a wet blanket. Whatever you say, well, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna hit the showers. Oh, well, let me join you then. Really? All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. Bye-bye!